Yeah. So here we go. We're gonna go three snatch liftoffs off the ground to a full snatch from the ground. The reason we bring these snatch liftoffs or kind of stop deadlifts because um, we want to be focusing on where our weight's positioned in our midfoot coming off the floor, making sure we're able to keep a nice tight back, and making sure we're driving out of our legs, right? So in beginner intermediate, we see a lot of people kind of rushing the bar off the ground and it gets really chesty into your low back. If you can work on snatch deadlifts where you're just taking the bar from the ground to directly below your knee, you can feel where that balance is. And also you're gonna get really, really tired, really just bracing, holding your spine as tight, or getting your spine as tight as possible. A lot of interact, working on breathing. The more we can stay and find that tension down at the bottom, it's gonna translate into power, speed, and the turnover. So we're going three plus one from the floor. Lift offs into full snatch. Find the floor, drop those legs, make sure you're keeping a nice tight back, breathing into your belly so you can keep all that power with you as you move into the snatch. Let's do three of these. Three sets? Yeah. Just beat the shit out of them. You're already in your dinner, man. Your camera's out. You got to do it here. It's going to make it look so cool. Yeah. It's nice to have one advanced lifter and one very slightly below intermediate. <laughs> You said legs, what do you mean by that? Well, we want to make sure that you're just driving through the floor. If you see the difference, when it gets it's the back, the chest makes the first move up versus your back staying flat at the same angle the whole time. So if your chest makes the first move, the bar's gonna end up swinging away from your body as you get above your knee. And it's gonna be here versus in tight to here. Ooh. Ooh. 